Yes, it's people, it's me, the one like Judy Love, and you know what time it is. It's Love Island Review Season 6, Episode 1. So they're all the way in South Africa. I can't lie yet. When it first started, I, and I still couldn't find what I'm looking for. Oh, but hold on a minute, Bridget. This is like one kind of movie. So the girls arrived first, and I can't lie. Shane, Shane. Sonne, Shawnee, Shawnee, Shanice, that's the one. I've got to keep it real, yeah? She looks much nicer with her curly hair. Not that she wasn't pretty before, but I just think the curly hair looks so much more natural now. Paige just came in after Shanice, and it's like Paige had a little balance problem because she couldn't keep still on that little round turning kind of chair. Leanne, Leanne said that she's the Beyonce of Wolf and Forest. You go, girl, East London. Now, I reckon Leanne has got a lot of natural hair underneath that wig. Girl, you know what? I hope you get to a stage. You just rip that off and show it how it is. Shauna came in and I think she's from South London. Probably a little cockney she is. Good job doing her thing. She came in there looking hot. A lot of you lot might try and say that she's plus size. To me, she's still a slim thing. Yes, yeah, she had a bit of legs and a bit of lips for days. But she doesn't really represent plus size. Sophie came in and she just so little and ditzy and oh, I, I, I. she just seems really happy and excited to be there. I think a lot of the girls felt a little bit intimidated when she came in. Like the first thing they said was, oh my god, she's so beautiful. Girls, you're all beautiful. I'm surprised they didn't recognize who Sophie's sister is because damn, they look alike. Now that all the girls are together, you can start to see where the little issues and insecurities. Some of them likes to chat a lot, chat out all their business, all their bad experience, all their good experience, just all their experience. A lot of them have thrown out there their types already. They need to be tall. They need to have tattoos. I never heard anybody say that they want a man who's got a bit of an education or a bit of ambition. Um, yeah. Now it came to the time of coupling. Nas came forward. I was like, yeah, you go there, Indian and Caribbean. Woohoo! I've looked for the Caribbean, but it's there. It's there. He came forward and he was like, Yeah, I'm ready. Step forward, bitches. You can you can step forward now. So, hello? Can you get you off the camera? No one step forward. I don't know why. He's a gorgeous guy. In the end, he ended up picking Shane. 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 Shauna. Shawnee. Not Shauna. Sh Shane. Nay, Shay Nay, Nay Nay Nay, he beat her, she ended up stepping forward for her next man. Anyway, let's just keep it moving. Now Callum came forward, he's a little cutie as well, and uh, he straight away got picked by Shauna. Shauna stepped forward, she was like, I'm having that, I want that, as he was coming down, she was like, I'm on, I'm on, I'm wet, I'm there, I'm gone girl, I'm gone. Now the next little cheeky chappy was Ollie. Ollie stepped out with his six pack and his wealth, that's it. <laughs> No one stepped forward for him. I, I don't know what's going on. Girls, was it not the smile to the side? You know what? He said, forget all of this. I'm going to pick Paige. Paige was like, Shit. Oh, and next up was Connor. Connor came down. His teeth was out before him, just shining away. Forget the South Africa sunshine. We just need Connor's teeth. And who stepped forward for him? It was Sophie. She was memorized and blinded by the veneers. And they coupled up together. He said he had an eye on her straight away. But you know what? I see little problems in the mix. Because Connor decided to tell everybody that he bagged two girls on one night. The first night he met them. And he wondered why everyone reacted the way that they did. That they didn't want to know about too much information. Uh, Sophie kind of said to him, oh my God, little banter and jokes with him. He took it personally. They had their first little argument in the first night. Problems. Allow it. Allow it, Sophie. I can't even lie. Like, Sophie and Connor reminded me of those couples that you see at the pub on a Friday and they love each other. They've been together for years, but they've drank too much and then they end up having an argument. Sophie's always smiling. She's just always smiling. Uh, oh my God, don't do that to me. I'm just so nice. But I'm confused because Sophie said she wanted a guy with light eyes so that her baby could have light eyes. This, he, maybe she got confused by the light teeth. And behold, who came down? Mike. Mike stepped down like he was a whole chocolate fountain. I mean, the only person that stepped forward for him was Leah. And yes, I am excited to see hashtag black love. I don't care if it lasts one day. I just want to see it on TV. They look cute together. Leah doesn't seem to be ghetto or all the other labels that people like to associate to her 
at the moment. We'll see later on. It's not that we get her. It's just that we're passionate if you push us the wrong way. She's not saying much at the moment. And he's a police officer. So hopefully he will be able to check her. But did you hear the line that he said to her? That got me all fluttering. She said that usually she meets people that's crazy. He turned to her and said, you know what? It's like you got a little blessing. She was like, what? He said, because I ain't crazy. Ah! And then just when we was in the midst of all of that and getting excited by the couple, whoa, Love Island does what they do best. Drop a bombshell. It's called Twins. Did you see all the man names face? Oh, the double trouble. Seems like the kind of game I want to play. Love Island. It looks like those twins are going to cause trouble amongst themselves. They don't usually argue for men, but I see trouble in South Africa. Bloody tourists always causing problems in other countries, isn't it?